I am getting ready to start another altered book. So this is a book I got at an estate sale. I had a tag on it. Of course, when I peeled it off, it ruined the cover, but it's okay. This is going to be an altered book. So I'm going to add stuff to the cover anyway. I just was a little disappointed because I do like to preserve the original cover as much as I can. But that's what happens when you go to estate sales and they put stickers on paper, which never works out. So anyway, um, this is a book written in German. So that is really cool. There's no pictures whatsoever. Um, so, and it's not that old. I can just tell, I'm not seeing the year on it, but you can just tell by the um, filling of the paper. It's not that old, but it is stitched in. So when you do an altered book, stitched is always better than glued. It just makes it, you know, stay better because when you alter a book, you, you just, you do a lot to it and you're terrible on the binding. And so the, the stitches one, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, sorry about my, I'm looking at my background. So this is, this is, I have a long table. This side is my altered book side. As you can see, it's got paint all over it, um, on this poster board. And then that side over there is my uh, junk journals that on film vacations and you can see there's no paint over there whatsoever. I usually use that side to do videos because it looks a lot nicer, but I'm in the middle of a vacation spread. So I am using my nice messy poster board side. So anyway, I'm gonna get, I'm not prepping it early like I normally have done for the last two books. Um, I'm just gonna play it by ear. Again, I'm going by Lori Marie Jenkins. Um, I love her videos. I I just spent like an hour browsing YouTube trying to find out if there's anyone similar because I just I love the tutorials that Lori does and I was and I've seen a lot of other people but no one in my opinion is compares to Lori Marie Jenkins. So if anyone has any recommendations for um, an, um, a tutorial artist who is very similar to Lori Marie, I would love to hear recommendations. I just, I'm gonna eventually run out of Lori Marie videos and I'm worried, what am I gonna do when there's no more Lori Marie videos? So I keep trying to find a couple other people. Um, my aunt recommends Nick the Booksmith, but that's more, that's, she doesn't use paint like I like. I'm really looking for um, a mixed media artist that does a lot of just paint textured backgrounds. So anyway, um, I think this book is smaller than another book, than the average books I've been using. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see how this one is going to turn out. So anyway, I, let me get started and I will be back with the flip through. Good morning. Here is my latest altered book. Um, I didn't do like an official clothing, closing, so closure. I just tied it shut. All right. I don't want to mess with the cover too much, but there was a tear in it, so I just used napkin, decoupage some napkin on it, and I did the same for the back. I'm really loving decoupage napkins. It just gives it like a texture and it looks completely different than what the original napkin was. And then, so again, this is all um, inspired by Lori Marie Jenkins videos on YouTube. Um, this is her suspended heart tutorial. And I really like, this is the second time I've done her suspended heart. I really like it. And then this page is a pop-up. So when you look in there, there's like a little butterfly and a guy. So in this entire book, it's using Tim Holtz accents. I try to always theme my books. I just like to theme stuff. And so this is all Tim Holtz paper. Um, sometimes the background's not. I mean, this is just a map, but, and then this is a tag. Um, when you cut out, you know, I cut this out. So that cut out, of course, I saved and turned it into a tag. And I just realized I'm not wearing my watch. I kind of, you ever like get so used to wearing a watch that when you don't wear it, you feel naked? I feel very naked without my watch, so I need to put it back on. And then um, another tag from the cutout. All right. And this was just, I don't remember the lessons. Um, I'm just showing you what I did if you're interested. Um, in making your own altered book. I highly recommend searching for Lori Marie Jenkins on YouTube. She's definitely uh, the best teacher I have seen so far. And they're free. You can watch her videos for free. 
Let's see, and then tags. And these are toilet paper roll tags. Yes, this is a toilet paper roll cut in half. Is that not amazing? I love upcycling stuff, and so it is pretty cool. I, now I don't even throw any toilet paper rolls away. And when I go on vacation, and if I see an empty toilet paper roll in my hotel room, I keep it. That's how crazy I am now. I'm obsessed with toilet paper rolls. <laughs> empty toilet paper rolls. And this is my favorite. Um, this is a mica sheet. This is like some kind of thin stone. I broke down and bought some mica off of Amazon because Lori Marie uses it a lot in her videos. This is my favorite spread out of the entire book. And this was using, this is cardboard. Um, and then I use, my favorite stencil is this brick stencil. And then some more stencils and some more um, Tim Holtz papers. And this one, this is fabric. This is my least favorite tutorial that she did. I think for the month of like February or March, she did like a whole bunch of different fabric stuff. And I just, I'm not really, I don't know. I just wasn't really into it. So I did one, but wasn't nothing I would do again. I would not repeat this. Like this one, I would totally repeat in a book, but I'm just, I would not do this one again. And this was, um, this is the same image, but see this is cut out and then it's just layer upon layer. And then you tear off the layers to get this image. So that was fun. And this was just, um, some more Tim Holtz decoupage stuff. And then here is another pop-up. And this one has tags. And, oh, I think this is almost the last page. So this is a secret door. And it's not deep enough to hide any, like, any, like, mementos. It's just a, um, another Tim Holtz picture. But I really, this is my second favorite. I really like the colors on this. And then this is a paper heart. Um, these are fabric. And then glued down on a brown paper bag. So I do like it. But I didn't know how to embellish it beyond this. So I just left it as is. And that was the back. So I kind of feel like I could do a little more with this. But I just don't know what to do. So for now, it's left like that. Um, so yep, that's my altered book, and I just love these altered books. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's fun. It's fun making them, and I'm out of like hardback books that I can tear that are need that need to be upcycled. So I gotta go to Savers, which is a thrift store, and find some more books to work with because I want to start another book right away. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.